Hi everybody, my name is Cesar Garcia and I am enrolled in a sterile processing course. I am currently in my final semester and this week they asked me to share some instruments I got through the mail today. Um, I'm also going to be sharing um, a couple items, you know, uh, uh, personal protective equipment, uh, sur surgical techs used in order to um, not get contamination, uh, cross contamination uh, into uh, the um, operating room, different uh, rooms in the in the hospital. So uh, let's get into it. So I want to start off with uh, mentioning that this is the uh, cap that uh, surg sur uh, surgical techs have to use. Uh, this helps, you know, keep your hair, you know, in, uh, from falling, you know, uh, and then getting into like, you know, the equipment or anything. So the kit I actually have here comes with multiple, multiple, what's up dude, how you doing? <laughs> Buddy over here. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm doing this after work, guys. Oh, and a little bit about myself. Well, right now I currently uh, do DoorDash. I'm actually at Denny's uh and yeah so let's get to this uh introduction to these uh, tools i'm not able to flip my camera so pardon me on that aspect but we'll work with what we got all right so as you guys can see these are a bunch of tools a bunch of bunch of tools um a lot of these that are right here are basically um you know different sizes of uh of a well, for instance, this is called a Bacchus towel clamp. We got over here, hmm, tonsils. Uh, there's a lot of sizes. I notice there's a lot of sizes in uh, the same instruments. Um, there's some big instruments. You got some uh, small, skinny, and thin ones. Uh, so let me choose four of them. For the first instrument we have here, um, my impression on this instrument, it says, what do I think this instrument is used for? Honestly, I think this instrument is used for uh, whenever you need uh, maybe leverage with something. I think this instrument could be used for leverage. Uh, it could, I think it could be used in uh, any body parts uh, of, the, of, the, of the human body. Um, I think the kind of surgery used for this would probably be like general surgery. All right, so that's the first tool. I want to share another one right here. So, so these are the, the these are uh, a mixture, a right angle, size seven point seventy five. As you guys can see, it's a scissor shaped tool with a little angle at the tip stainless steel and um well this instrument i don't know being that it's kind of pointed at the end i think it might be used in um i don't know to grab something at an angle maybe uh the surgery i think this one might be used for uh, maybe to, like uh, since it's a big in big instrument maybe um somewhere in the stomach area where you're able to kind of like you know have to deep dip deep uh, dig deep into the uh, the patient to look to uh, kind of get whatever you, you need to uh, pl pluck with this. All right, so let me share the third the third instrument right here. Um, so this is actually a uh, knife scalpel. Um, knife scalpel handle. Camera here real quick. So what I notice is, I don't know if you guys are able to notice, but it has a little uh, rigid uh, dag, dag right here. Um, slashed, I, that's uh, I think for putting a, well, it says it's a knife scalpel handle. So maybe like a little uh, scalpel or something, some form of scalpel. It uh, has a seven at the bottom. So I think that might be the size yeah, so I think this use could be used also for uh, maybe scalpel, huh? for cutting tissue, maybe general surgery. I have no idea. I'm for sure gonna look forward to knowing what this is used for though. All right, so let's see. 
Last and final instrument is um, this one right here. This is a big one. It's a Diva Retractor. So that the name kind of gives it away. It's a pretty big, pretty big instrument. Um, I think this one I've been using on. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I'm googling the types of surgeries, and it says there's a a bunch of surgeries depending on like the body part you're you're gonna be working on. So I mean, this is a big instrument. Got I think it has to do with like probably uh some type of um surgery in the abdominal area. You know, maybe having to also use this as leverage. Um, yeah. Well, those are the instruments um, I'm gonna share with you guys during these first five minutes. I also have some flashcards I kind of want to share with you guys. As I was looking through these flashcards, um, I was noticing how simple and really helpful they actually are. So without further ado, I'd like to give you guys a glimpse of what I'm going to be studying this couple months. All of these are instrument basic uh, flashcard pack. All right, guys. So for the second part of this video, I'm gonna be picking four of these uh, cards at a random, and I'm gonna be um, wondering, basically, you know, answering some questions depending on uh, the flashcard. All right, let's see. All right, guys. So for the first flashcard, I have this one right here. Get a quick look at it. What is the name of this instrument? And what type of surgery is this used for? Uh, the name of this instrument is a straight dentist clamp, guys. A straight dentist clamp. It is a clamping tool used to clamp. Um, what kind of surgery is this used for? Bowel surgery. Second card would be, let's see this one right here. It is also a clamp. As you can see, uh, what are the names of those instruments? Two, we have two sizes shown here, guys. The, the one is a straight standard right angle clamp, a short and a long one. These, um, what are these instruments used for? Well, this one in particular is a right angle clamp and it is used to get into tight spaces and around the vessels. Interesting, interesting, cool, very cool. All right, all right, guys. We have this right here. I think we've seen these. I think these are uh, some type of pigs, right? What is the name of this instrument? Tissue forceps without teeth. These are used to, for the dressing applications and surgery, and is also a grasping and a holding type of tool. Mm, let's see. All right. Finally, we have this one. So this instrument is called a Chandler Peristeel elevator. All right, guys. As you can see, various sizes. In a, these are for retracting and exposing. Uh, usually, um, these instruments are used in a in the chandelier and is used to uh, levering tissue away from the operative site. Very, very cool, guys. All right. Well, those are the four flashcards I wanted to show you guys. Um, I want to thank you guys for listening to me and watching the video. Um, I want to finalize this video with um, basically uh, sharing that uh, I think these instruments do seem pretty logical. Um, I mean, there's various sizes. Obviously, it makes sense to have different sized instruments for different surgeries. Um, it doesn't seem strange to me at all that these instruments come in different sizes and like, in this amount of quantity. Uh, I know the healthcare field is uh, growing every day. There's people, you know, growing older and older, so people need surgeries more than ever. 
And uh, with the with the uh, technology nowadays, I think we're only gonna uh, be seeing more and more uh, information on uh, different tools and uh, methods used for surgery. Well, my thoughts on this, uh, I'm very excited. First off, I'm very excited. Thankful for the opportunity I have to learn about this uh, new career. And um, yeah, excited for this. Um, I hope to upload more, more videos in the future. Um, I wish to get better at editing. I'm gonna be working on trying to uh, make my videos a little bit more appealing, more entertaining for you guys. Uh, with that being said, I wanna sign off saying thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.